Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisa and today we're gonna take a look at the miniature donkey, which is a mod made by Leaf and Nicholas Line Rider, so we expect a lot today. However, the miniature donkey is pretty much what it sounds like. It's a miniature donkey. It is domesticated, it's spread, therefore you can get them in numerous different colors and shapes and actually hair textures however i think i found a um, picture of the original more common version uh you could get them with spot you can get them with Dalm Dal dalmatian spots you can get them with tiger spot you can get them with stripes you can get what you want basically if you're willing to pay for it but i think Still, like this is what the mothers went for, and this is also the more natural version. Even though I think even the miniature part is something that have been bred from a normal size donkey. I don't know, but I'm guessing because a lot of miniature animals are ma made by humans. Anyway, we have these two here. They are clearly smaller than the normal donkeys. They also have more fluff more uh, lo longer fur more woolly fur they have a little bit shorter ears shorter legs of course uh, and then they seem to have this lighter belly part which the north american donkey we looked at yesterday also have so therefore there is a little bit of uh, comparisons there they also have the stripe down here and the stripe down the back that that one also have. However, the colorations is a little bit different since the brown here is browner and the gray here is lighter than the ones we looked at yesterday. So let's just get into it. And I'm just gonna, I got not gonna compare the mods too much because it's not the same mother. Um, but basically I just want to compare the size. That's the only thing we're gonna look at here. Oh, what that? Wait a minute. Was that? That was a female. So we're gonna take a female here. To be completely fair, I'm not sure it's gonna make a difference with donkeys, but to be fair, that's what we're gonna do. So here, of course, the colorations are different, but here you can see those clearly drawings. It's the same again. This is the dog variant, so therefore, not completely the same. But you can see the size is clearly a lot different. Uh, these are more like working horse size, where this is a more little petting zoo animal. If that's what we're gonna do, uh, or what we're gonna look at. I'm just gonna throw him over here or she over here to her family. Uh, again, the... Um, Donkeys here aren't the only donkey we're looking at it today. We also have the Somali wild ass, which is a little bit different, but we're gonna look at that later today. Keep in mind every time I say ass, I mean donkey. It's the same goddamn theme, family wise and Latin wise. Um, but let's jump into Supedia, that's that button. And here they are domesticated. <laughs> okay. You know when you are at a zoo and you're waiting with your camera. You're waiting, you're waiting. They are finally setting the right place. You got the right angle. You're clicking your camera and before it takes the picture, the animal turns around. That's a hundred percent what I get with this picture. Um yeah, it is domesticated worldwide and uh, yeah, population in the wild domesticated. Um, jumping in here again worldwide they live in grassland taiga timbered and desert biome they will keep in mind that the temperature down here is from minus 5 to 40 so you will have to keep an eye on that uh, if you go with a desert for instance or a tiger for that sake um, one of them need 100 square meters of land and nothing else and you need a great four fence 6.6 feet that two meter it's actually quite high for a miniature donkey 
not sure why but that's how it is um group size from 2 to 30 and males don't females doesn't really matter um again they are very domesticated so those aggressions are probably bred out of the um individuals over time that's what we're trying to do but sometimes with animals we breed we are going for how they look more than their nature and therefore some species or some races of dogs or cat can be more aggressive because that's what you breed for for instance it's been proven that chihuahuas are more aggressive by nature and that because you 100% bred that for the way it looks and not the way it uh, or mentally uh, doesn't mean it's a bad dog it just need means that it needs a good owner just want to clarify it there social hierarchy is constantly in flux based on small fights that's something we see a lot with domesticated animals small fights aren't that aggressive it can be from small like the hiss not they don't hiss they at each other uh to small like pushing around they can also jump up on top of each other kind of doing the mating dance uh no matter gender uh to kind of try to show domination over each other they are polyamorous so you can only have one male and get all your fem females pregnant if that's what you want they are confident around humans and guests can enter the habitat that was expected but it's nice to be sure three feet tall that's just under one meter it's yeah they live for around 25 years that's actually a long time uh and they weigh around 200 pounds so that's around 100 kilos so even though it's small it's still kind of heavy uh, they can start breeding after three years and they can do that for 20 years uh, They will only get a single offspring every other year and be pregnant for 12 months And they should be easy to get to reproduce in captivity. They don't have any interspecies enrichment I would like the donkeys to have interspecies enrichment with donkeys, zebras, horses and so on both the one from the games and the modded variations however i also know that not all of the modders talk about every single mod they make basically because they make a lot uh, nothing happens here the last week or so but i think it's have something to do with the new dlc keep in mind you need to remove your mods before you get the new update keep that in mind please please do However, if you do that, you shouldn't have any issues with it unless Frontier fucked up again. They did that last time. Not last time, the time before, I think it was. Um, anyway, enrichment. We have the two threes. We have the uh, block of ice. Then we have the grapple and the herb scent marker. And for food enrichment, we have the hanging thingy. The grassing ball and the small barrel personally i think they could both use the small and the big one without issues but again normally the mothers use one or the other um there is a really weird sizing thing here where the babies look small like a fall they looks way too slender and it looks way too tall compared to the adult i'm just gonna show if i can find the right button here i think it's there yeah here you can see how they looks as babies um and that's not really what we get in the game not even remotely close to what we get in the game um so i think that's because they just took the baby from the sorry i need to click the right button i think they took the baby from the zebra for instance and just made a repaint of it um so therefore this doesn't look quite how they should 
And if you get in here, you can see the color is off. It looks fine from out here, but if you get in here, you can see this weird color patterns with green, green and purple, especially here on the inner butt cheek. And that's weird. I have seen this on other mods before, and that was because of an update. Then the color coding changed. Uh, so I will mention this to the mothers. And as always, if they update the mod, this isn't a big issue. So if they update the mod, I'm just going to pin a comment uh, down below so you can see it's been updated, it's been fixed. Uh, but you can still play around with it before that without issues, I would say. Um, the adults here, we are having a few colorations. So we have this brown one, the very grey one. The swimming one. I think we all... I think there's only two colorations, but I'm not quite sure. Um... But overall, they are quite beautiful. They are very fat looking, but again, it's a miniature donkey. It's a donkey where someone stole half their legs. Uh, so it isn't that weird. The fur texture here is good. Uh, here you can see with the stripes, they are always going to tell you if it's good. And you can see here the strands of the light hair over the dark and the dark hair over the light um again we have those little green and purple things going on do we have the same over here no you can see here it's clean gray different colorations of gray but it's clean gray so we're gonna look on this one instead the eyes looks pretty much as they should because donkeys have these kind of droopy, lazy looking eyes. But when we look directly in them, they are quite beautiful. We have a little bit of glitching going on. Keep in mind that might be my computer and not yours. Uh, and not the, not the mud. We have these small hairs everywhere. And I feel like when you move around the face, it looks good overall. We have a little bit of too long here you can see the angle going out we have those small details that i would like to fix this going inwards and outwards here i would like to have fix but again that's a really small thing we have the straight line here if you follow my channel you know i don't like that i want the fur here to just cover it a little bit it should still be there because it is there on animals but if you uh, think of the black hair or the dark as the hoof, then you would still have the gray hairs covering the hoof a little bit. So you wouldn't get the same amount of blurriness, but you would get a tiny bit of it, if you can imagine that. The tail here is built massively, but I feel like that's a really good choice. It is also very, very fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. So overall, they are quite good. I would like to show you that the both adults and babies swim. However, the babies are more like diving. Underwater. Uh, the adult seems to be swimming fine. But again, if you want a petting suit, then you probably aren't going to let them swim. Uh, so then it won't be an issue. I feel like a petting suit would mostly be what you're going for with these. Uh, not necessarily a classical petting suit, but somewhere where you want the guests to go in. Um, yeah. I don't really have much else to say, guys, so I'm gonna end it here. Again, I don't have much better to see there is that weird coloration but if that's the, your only issue then you can only get choose to only buy the other coloration and again here you can see this is the weird coloration but when we just are here it doesn't look weird it's only when you get in here you can see it so if you just play your game it's not an issue but i will still inform the mothers about it anyway guys that's where i'm gonna leave you from here again the somali wild ass will be up later 
today and uh, you know the drill guys like subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time i upload a video i really hope to see you again up there in the comments below or in the next video bye guys